Hello Taurus, what's going on? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Maddie Butterfly Tarot, and we're going to do a general reading for me. But you know, it is a timeless reading. All of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is, uh, you know, when the messages were meant for you. Um, you're very welcome here, Taurus. Thank you very much for checking out the, the reading and the channel. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. So, I'll give those another little shuffle in a minute. Right, let's see. Let's see here. What wants to come out for Taurus? Cherishing self, we oh, like that one. I accept and love myself. Okay, so this could also be about your sacral chakra, you know, um, because that's literally what, that's the sacral chakra, like taking the time to do nice things for yourself, you know, instead of, oh, it's like I have to check all the boxes on the to-do list. It's like, you know what, screw that. I'm gonna go for a bath. I'm going to do some yoga, I'm going to eat a pizza, watch a movie, whatever, you know, whatever it makes, what is that makes you happy. And you have manifesting dreams. My dreams are coming true. So things that you have planted, like the seeds that you've been carefully planting and harvesting are coming true. And you know, it's an interesting, what's in the bottom of the deck, planting seeds. Um, it's interesting what they're saying. They're saying the more that you take care of yourself, the more that your dreams are going to manifest. So there could, there's some kind of dream that is connected with you learning to take care of yourself first. Um, so it could be something to do with creativity because that's to do with the sacral chakra, you know, because it's difficult to be creative when you're running yourself into the ground or you're super stressed out. Oh, exceeding expectations. I soar into excellence. I think you're going to exceed your own expectations here. I'm going to get two more. Ha, ha, ha. Rising above, I see only beauty and grace. Look at that. In both cards, the person is like exploding. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. Here I am. <laughs> here I am. And you have being in the flow. That again is to do with the sacral chakra. Like the sacral chakra is all about not resisting, going with the flow, tapping into your feminine energy. You know, even if you're a male, like tapping into that feminine energy where you're like, okay, I'm not gonna fight spirit. I'm just gonna, you know, if I'm too tired to do all the things on the list, you know what? I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna regroup. Because the thing is, it's easier to think when you're not super tired as well. So there's something here about being in the flow. Like the more that you allow yourself to get into this flow and just go with what the universe is trying to get you to do, the better off you're gonna be and the faster. I feel like this is what you're already in or you've recently gotten yourself into this. So you can expect things to start flowing very quickly now. Almost, you're not even, I mean, you're gonna to have to do things, but it's not going to feel like you're going uphill, you know, you're just going to be like, wow, things are just flowing so easily. Um, okay. What else for Taurus? The goddess of the moon. Yeah, there's definitely a message here. And obviously, you know, if you're a dude, you can be the god, right? Uh, goddess of the moon. So there's a message here about getting into the flow state, getting into this you know, um, like sacral chakra energy, you know, um, intuition, getting into that space where you're calm and receptive and you're going with your intuition. Yeah, oh my God, I cannot believe that just came out. Look, manifesting dreams and blossoming abundance. So this looks like a money thing. It could be love too, but at the moment, it looks like they're just talking about money. Although abundance is not just about money, you know, it's about 
being happy in the job that you're in, having time, because there's, you know, working yourself into the ground and being exhausted and, you know, kind of unhappy all the time is not a good exchange for money, in my opinion. <laughs> like, what's the point in having the money if you can't enjoy it? So it's like, yeah, you know, like having more free time and being happy and also it could be about love, but there's, yeah, like a lot of growth and blossoming abundance and it, yeah, again, this could be something kind of creative that you're doing. It's certainly, it's something like to do with like feelings or intuition or creativity because like I said, the, it's like the more that you get into the sacral chakra space of looking after yourself and heal, you know, healing the inner child and letting the inner child out to play and doing things that make you happy, the more that these inspirations are going to flow. You know, this pink thing that she's dealing with, these are, um, it's like receiving your life purpose. Something that you're doing here looks very much to be kind of a life purpose. It's one of the ways that they send messages is through these pink bubbles. Um, okay, this could be to do with speaking because you have the throat chakra here. Archangel Michael, the fifth chakra is the throat chakra. So this could be about like your throat chakra opening. <clears throat> My throat's just gone. <laughs> so yeah, this could be about letting yourself be seen, your throat chakra opening. Okay, what else for Taurus? I think you get a lot of envy, okay? Because you have rising above and then you have envy. So there could be a lot of people here that give you the evil eye, right? Or there could have been like a lot of people in the past that didn't want you to succeed or, you know, you might have a lot of friends <laughs> around that, you know, you have to like dim your light for them or they're not happy for you when things go right. FYI, that's not a friend. <laughs> so if you have someone in your life like that, I don't know, I mean, I'm not saying you should do anything, but that's not a friend. So, because friends are supposed to be happy for you when you succeed, you know. But it's like you're rising above envy or, you know, maybe you haven't wanted to shine or to be seen in the past because you got a lot of the evil eye, <laughs> you know. But now you're just like, yeah, I don't care. Here I am. <laughs> this is me. Okay, what is this being in the flow? Ooh, door to spirit. Yeah, you're super connected to spirit at the moment. You're, this is why you're in the flow. Because you're, you're connected to spirit. So everything's going to start flowing like really easily for you. Because that's another thing about, you know, when your intuition is is on point and you're listening to your intuition and you're being guided by it, everything just flows a lot more easily. It's when you resist it, that's when the problems arise in my personal experience. Okay. Um, what's, what else for Taurus? can't even control that card. The Knight of Cups. Eee. This could be, let's see what that is, because that could be a couple of things. Excuse me while I rearrange myself. Um, you have a King of Wands at the bottom of the deck here, so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you could be dealing with, this could be a King of Wands wanting to come in. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, tell me about this Knight of Cups. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna reshuffle that, hold on. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, let's do it from a calm place. You have the Chariot, I go forward with confidence. The Nine of Pentacles. 
and the world. You know, this could be something to do with an online business. When you have the world and the nine of pentacles, at least for some of you. Because the world talks about, you know, being seen online and the nine of pentacles talks about, um, <coughs> excuse me, successful self-employment. There's also a message here. I take the time to nurture myself. This is a new cycle that's coming in for you um, about you learning to put yourself first, your health. Because you may be someone, you may have problems with your sacral chakra. If you want to know more about the chakras, you should definitely check out, check out my other channel, uh, How to Train Your Caterpillar. It's, um, it's got all sorts of chakra stuff on there, like easy ways to open them and things. But um, the sacral chakra is blocked by guilt. So, you know, if you always feel guilty about taking time out for yourself or, you know, you were always told you were a selfish child or something, you know, anything like that, or you're in a relationship with someone that made you feel selfish for resting. Um, you know, when you do take time out to like have a nice lunch or, you know, buy yourself something nice or just take some time off, you might feel guilty about that. So it's, it's one of your lessons that you're learning is to literally put yourself first. And it's not selfish. That's what you're here to do. You know, you're not just here to work. Right, tell me about this Knight of Cups. Thank you. The star. I am inspired and positive about the future. So there is someone coming in here. This looks like new love. The, oh, I said new love. Okay, so this is someone new that's coming in here. I kind of feel like this person comes in after the job thing or like after the, the money's made. There's like a process here of you learning to look after yourself, which opens your sacral chakra, which heightens your intuition, which brings in the money, and then the throat chakra is opening at the same time. You're rising above this, like, you know, people trying to contain you and put you down. You're being in the flow of spirit, and then, excuse me, this new person comes in. Um, so this person's been waiting <coughs> Sorry, Taurus. <coughs> this person's been waiting to come in. And, uh, you know, the star is like a wish fulfillment. It's being happy, excited about the future. Yeah, you have the death card. I let go and embrace new beginnings. So you may resonate with you've been through a pretty big dark night of the soul. Which is why... You, you are so in flow with spirit because you've done the shadow work. That's why. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> I feel like there may have been a pretty big block in your throat chakra. Someone told me once that Taurus is, um, that's their thing is the throat chakra. So I don't know about that. Um, I don't know any more information about that. I mean, I'm sure it's true. I don't know anything else about it though. But you may have, yeah, been through a pretty big dark night of the soul and now you're emerging as the butterfly. And when that happens, it's your job to start teaching other people. So I feel like that's probably what you're stepping into here. <coughs> but that's why you're so on point with spirit, because you've done all this shadow work. Because you know what? Other people will be jealous of you, but the thing is they haven't done the work. They could be where you are if they would do the work, but they don't want to because it's hard or it's scary. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to look at those parts of myself. Ew. So people don't do it. So they'll just sit back and envy you because you had the balls to go for what you wanted. Um, and there's an ace of swords here. So yeah, definitely a huge breakthrough. Tell me about this chariot. Page of Wands, oof. Uh, there's a message from this person. So you have the chariot with the Page of Wands. There's, there's like, you're gonna get some good news. Like this, this new person, there's, there's a lot of forward momentum here, like fast moving energy. This person's pretty determined. Um, 
I don't see any blocks here. Because you know what? You've dealt with all the relationships that have the blocks. This no longer has blocks. It's just flow state. That's all I see for you here. And I see the Four of Swords here with the world. So um, you may resonate with having had to take some time out to heal or go through this dark night of the soul energy. You may resonate with having just come out of a hermit phase. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and now it's like time for this new cycle to begin. And the Four of Swords energy is boring. You know, when they make you stay in the hermit phase and do all your spiritual shadow work and learning, it's boring. But now is your reward. So let people envy you as much as they want. You've done the work and you deserve this. Uh, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. The sun. Oh my God. So, yeah, definitely it, it's not selfish for you to take time out to nurture yourself. That's what you're meant to be doing right now. Or that's what you're meant to be learning. So if you've been fighting that, don't fight it, okay? Um, <clears throat> there's also something here. I don't know, like this business that you're running or this online thing, or it could be a job. But it's something where you're going to be seen, the Nine of Pentacles with the Sun. You will be seen here quite a lot. Like, there's quite a lot of attention on you, whatever you're doing. It's because you, you receive a lot of information, you know. During this time out that you took, you received a lot of information from Spirit. And there's, yeah, uh, now there's like this attention that's on you and a lot of success. Uh, and also you fe you're feeling worthy of the attention now with the Nine of Pentacles, like this is someone who feels worthy, who's done the work, who's gone within, um, maybe you didn't feel worthy of it before, but you feel worthy now. <clears throat> and you're seeing your own worth, you know, with the Two of Swords, maybe you didn't see your own worth before. Okay, so let's get some... We're going to do an extent, yeah, this person is the love of your life, <laughs> this person coming in. We're going to do an extended reading for this today, Taurus, but I want to get a couple of cards. Um, I want to do a couple of cards from this deck as well. About this dream this abundance what is this <coughs> excuse me abundance that's coming in <coughs> wow great fortune it's a lot you see how she's in the spotlight so this could definitely be something about you being in the spotlight um and i think it is about you giving information to people in some way or even giving blessings to people i don't know how you would do that or what you do is a blessing for people. You're about to hit a lot of money though. Distant horizons. This could definitely, this came out for Aries as well. Spoiler alert. But that's my card in this deck of working online. I mean, you could travel, you know. But realistically, these days, a lot of people, you know, if you want to reach people that are far away, the, the way to do that is obviously the internet, the tinternet. But you could also travel. But what you have to say or what you're giving to people will be seen far and wide. More than you think. <laughs> I don't know what this is you're doing, but it will exceed your own expectations about it. About what, how far this can go. <laughs> so I think that's why they've had you work on your self-esteem and like not giving a shit about other people because you're gonna have to. Because some of you are actually gonna be famous. Honestly, I don't know what you're doing, but <clears throat> tell me about this world and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, there's a partnership here that wants to come in as well, that wants to make itself known. You have marriage. So this person, this new love, this is going to be serious. Oh, courtship. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, this person's like certain about you like they're coming in kind of fast um 
you know, they almost come in at a point where you're just doing your own thing and you're just like, la la la. And then they come in almost like when your back's turned. <laughs> um, we have the Mature Man. So in this deck, that's the Emperor. And you know, if you deal with uh, women, you can make that the Empress. But um, this is someone, when you have the Chariot and the Mature Man, this is someone pretty successful. Also, you know, there's a globe here, which indicates travel to me. So, and you have travel here too with the world. So you might meet them online. You might meet them when you're traveling. You may have to travel to meet this person. They could travel for work. There's something to do with like being online or traveling. Uh, so you would have to, yeah, you might not live where they live, you know, or you might have to travel to meet up with them. But very stable, very successful usually as well when you have the chariot and the emperor. That's someone like, you know, they know what they want and they go for it and they're very well respected. They're motivated, they're disciplined, they're structured, they're a leader, they're organized. Uh, this person also has, like in this deck, they have a lot of books. So they're very well read, like they're very clever, but they're very cute. <laughs> So well, this person's very cute. You have page of wands here, so that's a kind of a cute energy. Uh, tell me about the world and the nine of pentacles. Despair. So I think you've come out of a cycle of like never feeling good enough. Um, you may have felt the business wasn't taking off. You've been worried about the business or the money. You're coming out of that. Like, yeah, you really are. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, so I'm going to get like three of these to close the reading and then I'm going to go into the extended. We'll play Nosy Parker about this person coming in, this new person. They're a bit of a fox, whoever they are. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's take that card then. So you have, this is literally landed like <laughs> exactly upright on top of being in the flow and door to spirit. Your psychic gifts are awakening. I don't know if you've noticed that recently, but your, your psychic gifts are getting so much better. I think in terms of everything like your connection to spirit you're so connected so that's why everything's flowing and if you're not in this energy you're about to and the more like i said the more you cherish yourself and make time to chill and relax and do things that make you happy the more connected to spirit you're going to get and the more everything is going to flow and it's going to move fast that's fast moving energy there it's quite spacey energy though so you will have to make sure you're grounded though but you know, yeah, your psychic gifts are becoming on point. Anything else for Taurus? Ha. Stretch your body. Okay, she's actually stretching in that card too. <laughs> so um, there's actually two cards of her stretching. So yeah. Even, not even, they're not even saying yoga, because I have a card in this deck for yoga. They're not even saying like, do yoga, they're saying stretch. So maybe you're feeling a bit stiff, or you're having a lot of like health problems or something like that. They're saying you need to start moving your body and stretching. Maybe you do a lot of sitting. I do that. <laughs> um, I, I'm famous for my ability to sit for me. <laughs> long periods. Uh, let's get one more. I don't really like the way they came out. Let's get one more card for Taurus. Sorry Taurus, my camera cut out. So that's interesting. Pregnancy landed on top of the death card. Okay, so there's a new beginning, basically. Now, 
I don't want to freak you out, but I have just put the pregnancy card down on top of like this death card, but all this romance stuff here. So with this new person that comes in, if it applies to you, there could be a pregnancy here. Okay? And I feel like for some of you, that's what you want because you have the star card. Um, if that's not, you know, applicable to you, then this is like a new beginning, something growing with this person. And it's because you've been through this dark night of the soul. You've probably noticed recently your energy's gotten a lot lighter because you've done a lot of shedding. Like you've, you, you've gotten rid of a lot of the low vibrational blah that was keeping you stuck. And you also have ch your channel here at the bottom of this deck. So you are a very clear channel. Um, your psychic gifts are like on point, they're getting, I mean, they may have always been on point for you, but they're about to like get even better. And you're gonna have a lot of people, or you're gonna have at least one person that's kind of envious of what's going on because they're watching you like move on or they're watching you succeed or they're, it could be like, especially, you know, if you're online, this could just be random people being like, ah, this bitch or you know, this a-hole if you're a dude. <laughs> but you've done the work, you know? That's why this is happening. And it's meant for you, this is meant for you. So, ah, oh, beautiful reading, Taurus. So, I'm gonna go into the extended and we're gonna have a nosy at this person coming in. Like, we'll get some characteristics, uh, messages from them, anything else that wants to come out. And we'll get some more information about this, like money and the job and all that stuff coming out. So if you would like to watch the extended reading, it is for channel members only. So if you go down to below the video, there should be a join button uh, to join the channel as a member. You need to join as the second level, the 599 level to access the extended readings. Um, if that join button is not there, if you go down to the description box, there's a link to join that way. So if I see you over there, awesome. Very much looking forward to it. But if not, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. And, you know, if you feel like doing that. And as always, I wish you many blessings. Love and light. Take care.